Boom. Bada bing. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, net fixed. <laughs> I like that one. Net okay, fixed. I'm a little slower with this new system that I'm using right now. Just for now. The force block awakens. Yeah. <laughs> Less flicks. Compression and chill. Nice. Compression. <laughs> Compression and chill. I liked fat free flicks too. Yeah. Less flicks is winning though. That's pretty damn good. Yep. Simplex. Simplex. What? <laughs> slim, oh, flicks. slim. Slim flicks. I see. Oh, there's a really there's a bunch of good ones in here. Yeah. Good title. Now Netflix now up to twenty percent off your bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> Phillips dims third party bulbs. Phillips turns the lights off. Tubble gets healthier. Less flicks, compression and chill. Those are those are racing to the top. I can. Mm -hmm. I really and like compression and chill. Is also good. Yeah, I kind of think compression and chill. It's it's time to use that one because that you know Netflix and chill has a limited shelf life in people's consciousness. So I'd say, do it. Done. Compression and chill. Doctor Payne with the title. Doctor Payne, you have been chosen. Do I accept the challenge? Oh, never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. <laughs> That's our uh, theme song. Never a dull moment sung to the tune of Never a Dull Moment. Mm -hmm. In the key of Never a Dull Moment. <laughs> In the key of. Ah, uh, uh, there's Ellie singing the song right now. Yep. Well, my great. day is complete. Got my Ellie. Mm -hmm. Ellie, uh, uh, see, she looks, she knows her name. <sighs> she knows the worried. internet is real. We kept calling her baby for the longest time. Baby, don't do that. Baby. Uh, baby, baby, don't do that. <laughs> Ellie, the voices are calling to you. <laughs> I could never remember a time when the internet did not speak to me. <laughs> You know, it'll just be like part of the fabric of her, you know, world. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why she grows up to have a southern accent, but. <laughs> but by then, you'll be able to implant, you know, sn snap-ins into your uh, brain stem to give you whatever. Right. It's just a fashion, fashion right. choice. Kids these days. What's funny is like I wonder the, how many kids actually understand how the internet works. Other than, you know, they they know how to use it. They know how to use it for what they need. But outside, no, it's, of that, it's that's the natural life cycle of things. And I was always amazed by the wave of people who came after just with computers in general, who were just users and were uninterested in what was going on under the hood, which is because we, we were the hobbyists and only we cared about these computers. Oh, and then they started doing things that other people cared about. And you have the mass of humanity who are just, we just use it. And it's going to be that times a thousand, I think, with the, the new, younger generations in the internet. It's just always been there, of course. Unfortunately, that comes with an implicit trust of the internet, and mm. this is why I spend my days scrubbing malware off of people's machines after they let their kids touch them. I'm going to introduce you that as malware scrubber next time. You're on the show. In my other life, lots of ransomware out there. That's evil, evil stuff. That's like the big, isn't that the big one or the big trend now? Ransomware? Yeah, and it's very real. Uh, I had two instances of Tesla Crypt at clients this week and one client realized the benefit of good backups and the other realized that they did not have good backups and now they do but it's a little too late so 
was the vector just like an email attachment or, or like an email link that they clicked on? Or one was one vector was the email spoof where the boss of the organization got it and just forwarded it to his controller, and she saw, oh, it's from a trusted source. It's from my boss, and so opened the invoice that was attached, and it was all over at that point. The other one can't find an email vector, so I'm assuming it was a an exploit kit uh, running on a compromised website. What's the vector, Victor? Uh, you were under over and over was underdone. You know, that's why I tie um, all my attachments to Google Docs, like spreadsheets and stuff. Like, I open them, I'll just open up, open it up in Google Docs. Sandbox, just a little. Yeah, the, the level of sophistication on their command and control servers where it's all automated, makes you your own private directory, automates the acceptance of the Bitcoin and releasing the decryption key if they feel like it. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, if these people... Hear, hear about their... that boot sector virus? It's like rootkit on steroids. I have not. And uh, one of the interesting things about it was that it included an uninstall feature <laughs> so you couldn't you because windows can't see it because it's right. sector it's uh good. but it it put some some things in the registry that would allow you to uninstall it uh which made a lot of people think well it must be meant at least in part to be ransomware interesting what does it do does it just lock your machine it owns the machine i mean it can do whatever it wants yeah i mean you get with rootkits you get a shadow operating system running alongside and they, they play merry merry hell with your computer i hear singing ah oh, merry hell the wish of krampus <laughs> Hellie, <laughs> you're adorable he's, he's talking to ellie in case you're just listening to the audio <laughs> Leave us alone. <laughs> so, let me tell you how The Force Awakens ends. <laughs> so they roll the credits. Millions of people just stopped their MP3s. <laughs> wow, did you see the viewership just drop off there, dude? <laughs> and then come the death threats in the IRC. Cried out in terror. And are suddenly silenced. <laughs> I, for one, uh, am not too worried about like shutting. Like I've seen people like that, like my friend Ron. It's like that's it. I'm leaving the internet. See you on Thursday night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not too worried about it. I... I'm also it's... not super spoiler sensitive personally. I do, that's not an invitation. I don't love to be spoiled necessarily, but the... I don't live in deathly fear of it. Well, the studio has done, I think, a remarkable job really keeping under wraps. Yeah. You know, in this day and age, that's not, that ain't easy. And JJ didn't have the greatest track record with that with uh, Into Darkness, where all of it got leaked anyway, and they, yeah. they, they had to flat out lie to try and keep a lid on it. Well, and this they allowed one, 150 people in to see the movie yesterday who had yeah. been in line to buy tickets. Oh, really? And they just surprised him and said, you can come in now. <gasps> really? Two people turned it down because they were getting married on Thursday and say, we can't do it. We can't do it to our guests. The whole point of our wedding is to get married and see The Force Awakens with everybody. And I'm like, wow, that's some self-control right there. Yeah, like it's... That's insane. Uh, but everybody else took them up on the opportunity and went in. That's inside. awesome. And, and that's where, like, that's the biggest spoiler risk right there, right? It's right. like those people, you know. They have no vested interest. But they're, I guess they're so thankful that they were given that opportunity that they don't want to, you know, they don't want to ruin it. Which is good. That's, that's not the usual activity you see on the internet. So faith in humanity, ratchet up one notch. Sometimes. Occasionally. You know, humanity's like babies. Some of them are good. I see one, a good one right there. <laughs> she, was, she was baby singing to me earlier. It was awesome. Uh, yes, as Ian points out to the chat room, I haven't seen Star Wars, The Force <laughs> Awakens. So I couldn't spoil it if I... Because we're not in to. France. I don't think France has seen it yet either. No, That's they're, tomorrow, they're, right? they're, Yeah, they're a day out. They I think. get it on Wednesday. And you just know, we'll be getting cryptic and maybe not so cryptic tweets from Monsieur Beja. 
<laughs> Strike It Rich asks if Force Awakens ends with a visit from Nick Fury. <laughs> well, they it could, technically could. They, yeah, they could have so much fun. Oh, with yeah. That. Could Force Ghost Mace Window in? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the Shield Jedi Project? When they do that crossover, I will burn everything. <laughs> just like, that's, that is almost too crass. But didn't Patton Oswalt write that movie? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, nerds, nerds would rise up and burn down the planet at that point. Hand me my lightsaber. It's what well, they would bad. just stop um, like uh, patronizing those franchises. Like, all right, yeah. <laughs> I'd know. <laughs> they'll, they'll patronize J.J. Abrams' other other venue, Star Trek. Oh, mean, more, more Trek. The, the, the Fast and the Phaserous? Yeah. All right, this guy says you could spoil it with a really good guess. I disagree with that. Yeah, we've been I, uh, we've been through this before, which is guesses are just guesses. Yeah. Speculation, speculation. People are like, don't try to guess. What if you get it right? Then you've spoiled it. I'm like, but how is that a spoiler if you don't know if it's true? But some you're... people are so spoiler sensitive, they don't even want to hear speculation on what could They're happen. speculating in their own brains. They can't stop themselves. If you're thinking about the movie, you are speculating about it. Yeah. yeah. Um... People are dumb. Hmm. I'm, I'm dumb. I know that. I'm, I'm not a smart Wars. man. Why isn't SoundCloud processing my track for playback, Jenny? Dear SoundCloud, please process <laughs> Tom's track for playback. Are you sending them a postcard? I am writing a very angry response to the fact that you're processing. It's not very thick. Uh, oh, yes, the processing. It worked. Look, see, it's magic. It's amazing. When you write a baby egg, that you always I'd get. I'd like to response. imagine that there was some guy at SoundCloud at his desk <laughs> listening oh, to Alpha Geek Radio right then. Was like, huh? Let me check on that. Oh yeah, that process is hung. <laughs> <laughs> Dear SoundCloud, thank you very much for addressing my concerns. I really appreciate it. I will continue to use your service. That was amazing. It worked. Recommend it to anyone who asks. Yes. Now leave me alone with my comic books. I am impatiently waiting for the Expanse episode two as well. Strike it, Rich. The Expanse premiered on Sci-Fi last night, and yeah, episode I'm two excited. comes tonight. I already seen episode one because they released it early, uh, and it was good. I'm looking for more. I wonder if I can catch that on demand in places. Where is Sci-Fi on demand? They have their own Roku channel, right? You have cable. I do have cable. Yeah, I think you can. Lot. Yeah, I think you can log in. Uh, I know you can log in on the web and see full episodes of stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't. I think I, do they have a Roku or do they have an Apple? They might have an Apple. Oh well, I just bought an Apple TV. You could also buy it from iTunes and watch. If, yeah, it. if you've got the current gen Apple TV that supports the App Store, there's a lot more. Okay. Options. See, I yeah, I'm now going to do a head-to-head -head test of the Roku Stick and the Apple TV. Ah. You could really? stream your music through Roku Stick too. Mm -hmm. Apple TV would be the perfect device. No, I can't stream. Had... I can't stream iTunes through app the Roku Stick. Can I? Mm -hmm. There's a way. Yeah. How is it complicated? No. No ish. It's a little. It's yeah. A little app. It's a little Let's app. put it this way. You bought I'm an Apple a TV. Party. You don't need to worry about just, it now. But I'm going to a party. I'm hosting a party on Friday about Star Wars. Will I have time to set up your complicated Roku stick way before then? No, it's not complicated. I mean, yeah. there's lots of different ways to do it. Uh, one would be to download a different player and then DLNA stream it to Roku um, and not use iTunes to play it. Yeah. See, at this point, I'm glad I bought my Apple TV. And also, really, another I way would be HDMI cable. to use... Uh, what, oh, see, RDO is gone, though. There are yeah. music apps that then you could upload your music into and use those. Yeah. Um, All I want is a cantina. What's the best yeah. way? Uh, most of the modern Roku devices will show up as a Bluetooth speaker destination. Oh, there you go. Oh, snap. So you just go into the settings on the Roku and put it into discoverable mode, pair it, hmm. and then you just make that uh, your You could do it audio. with the Roku uh, app. Yep, that too. Put the music on your iPhone and then uh, use the Roku app 
and send it. Send it. You know, I think what I I think those are all awesome. I think that both the phone and the computer will be in heavy usage during the party, so it feels good to have a separate standalone device to do it. Sure. No, that makes sense. But I but I like all those solutions because they're cheaper. And like the HDMI cable one was real. That's how I streamed StarWars.com last night was just put an HDMI cable into the laptop and do it, you know, early O's style or not early O's, but yeah, mid O's. Yeah. Um, uh, because sometimes that just works. Yep. I watched the stream in the kitchen while making salad. Hmm. You have a. I want, um, you know what I want? I want a vine of Anthony Carboni's face the moment Carrie Fisher took the mic. Because the just the angle of his um, <laughs> hands making a prayer triangle over his mouth, I just want it over and over and it over was the, again. What have I done? Yeah. What like, have I wrought? I'm either a genius or fired. Totally. <laughs> like, yeah. no, we didn't get a... somebody to make that repeating gif and then and then dub over the top of it. it was such a human moment. It was it was totally the I just threw firecrackers into the principal's office. Yes. Yeah. Is that a, the greatest idea that, ever, or am I, or in, am I in a lot of trouble? <laughs> I also really applauded his commitment to enthusiasm in the face of Harrison Ford's grumpy act. Oh, I missed the Harrison Ford that. interview. He was Harrison Ford was like decently good natured, and Carboni, of course, had really good questions. But at a certain point, like it was really weird because, like, at a certain point, it ended weirdly, like because Harrison Ford was just like done, and I think Carboni asked one more question and. Oh got a look from somebody and just like shut it down. <laughs> you know, like he shut down his own question. And I was just like, oh, this is so awkward. But he did a really good job of That's it. That's so typical of Harrison It's so Ford's Ford. Like either stuff. Harrison Ford is like 110% on or he's just a grump. Um, or he's playing a grump, but he's playing it so well that you can't tell. Like I would never. Grump or drunk. Yeah, I would Let's never, play. ever ever in a million years want to interview Harrison Ford because I just, it would, I couldn't handle it. Just, uh, you just have I, to I would, try to outgrump him. Yeah. I would just, I, I would know in my heart of hearts that I would have nothing new to ask him. Right. These are my that. issues with, with, um, interviews like that. Like that's why I'd rather just talk to people. Nobody knows. Uh, because, Oh boy, what are you going to ask Harrison Ford? How about that air? Uh, yeah. What you Do have you for lunch? enjoy premieres that are large? Yeah. Or would you rather the... be flying an airplane? Yeah. Which which aircraft do you think you're going to crash next? <laughs> and over whose house? Mm. Actually, that I mean, he was ice cold yeah. and calm and collected during that event. So, like, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Shane says, start an interview with Harrison Ford by holding out a snake. I like that. <laughs> this is just my pet snake, Reggie. He'll be asking the questions. This is going to be, I am not I Indiana Jones. You snakes. understand that, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not actually afraid of snakes. I'll eat it. Nom, 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 All right, we got to uh, we got to go do a secret yeah. episode that will be in secret your feeds on December 28th. Episode. Shush. So, there. Okay. Episode. I'll take the five minutes it takes to log into Skype. Hey. Your kids have fun now. With Lando buying Mandalorian armor. Goodbye.